So let's have a look at installing the Oculus with Airlink so that you can use VR Preview in Blender. I'm going to start with this guide to setting it up. And what do we need to do? So here's my space. Okay. So from this website, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that everything is in the right versions. If you download the Oculus app on the PC, then it will be a new version and the headsets that we're using will be updated, should be updated. If there's a problem, then maybe it's worth going back and checking. So that about version, let's just have a look. Let's go settings. Where is it even system? Maybe there we go. 39. Cool. So that's up to date. Does this tell us where to get the Oculus software from? Quest on the PC, download it here. So download that software and I'll just open up my version and we'll have a look at the version number here. Okay, so settings, general, down the bottom, Oculus app version 40 point blah blah. So that's good. We're ready to go. Activate Oculus Air Link. So on the PC, we don't have to do this because the newer versions of Oculus software has it already there. On the headset, let's have a look for where it is, let's see if I can find it. It is actually still in the experimental. So let's turn that on. And um, to, to jig, 5 gigahertz network via Wi-Fi. And so your PC and your headset need to be on the same network, and ideally a 5 gigahertz. I'll just say continue. So this headset is connected to the same Wi-Fi as the PC. We've now got this option, the Oculus Air Link. I'm going to click it. And not sure why there's two options, but I'm going to try the first one. Let's see if that connects. So it's giving me a pairing code. I will go to the Oculus app, say confirm. OK. Continue. And now I should be able to launch it from here. Just as a note for this setup, I think I had a problem starting the air link. It would just launch with the three dots and then not actually do anything. I'm not sure if this is the case, but if you're having that sort of problem, try to turn off your local firewall. So try both your domain and your private network. See if that works. If the firewall is the thing causing the problem, then at least you know that's what it is. But try not to leave the firewall off the whole time, obviously. So here we are in the PC Oculus menu. So this is running now from the PC. And this is Blender 3. I'm going to go to Preferences. Just select Add-ons. And it should be built in. You don't need to download anything. This VR 3D viewer. Activate that, and then you get this new tab on the side. I'm just visualizing my scene using Eevee. And if I hit Start VR Session now, if we look in the headsets, we're viewing our scene on the headset. My VR camera position is a little bit weird here. I'm kind of low down. But let me put that over there. So this is now moving our camera around. It's updating in real time. And let's do something a little bit more interesting. I'm going to create a point light. And just make it nice and bright. And we can move it around live in the headset. This is nice and smooth for me might not be totally smooth because of the streaming and the recording, but this is nice and smooth for testing for me. Cool. So this is quite fun. I suppose I should change the color of this just for the sake of it. Yes. Nice quick way of previewing scenes in VR using Blender and just over Wi-Fi.